can I put this in Disney parlance? Our magical stay could have gone better. Although we didn't have any problems with our online check-in. I mean, before we left the apartment, we'd gotten our reservations confirmed and even had our room assignment. And we were even listed on the security guard's list of guests for that stay. No, nope. it all stemmed from these little babies. The two billion dollars worth of magic bands. I mean, where do we even start? Let's just say we got real familiar with all of the people who work up here at the front desk. And it all started with Gene just checking to see whether charging was on my magic band or not. And needless to say, not only was it not on there, they couldn't make it work either. First up, they told me that I had too many old bands on there. Even though they're the ones that keep sending me new ones, so we just took some of the old bands off. They said that would work. Well, newsflash, it didn't. So, with that little business taken care of, we headed out of Cinema Hall, and right behind Cinema Hall, set up by the pool, was a nice little snow cone stand. And we decided we'd get snow cones. Well, my magic band worked. Jeans didn't. Well, later on that evening, we decide we're going to stop by and get something to eat, and Jean stops by the front desk in order to get her magic band fixed. Now, after a wait of literally... 20 minutes, I checked my watch. I was next up for my food, but apparently I wasn't. See, they were working on a new system, and although there was a bunch of stuff going on behind the counter, apparently none of it involved serving food to the people that were waiting for it. Although, the cooks kept coming over bringing more food and sticking it on the front of the line. And after the five people behind me got their food and mine still wasn't ready to go, that was it. We, I just decided to cancel the order. But they told me it was next up to be cooked. And what? so that Jean's food didn't get cold, we just headed up to the cash registers to pay for the food. And guess what? This time, neither magic band worked. So it was back over to the front desk where we spoke to the front desk manager this time. And after repeatedly trying to reset the band, she decided the best thing to do was to head over to Donald's Double Feature, the store there, and try and purchase something on our bands. And while well, my favorite cast member, Sarah, gave it attempt after attempt, there was no luck in charging on either one of my magic bands. So the manager decided she was going to call IT. So we headed back to our room for a good night's rest. The manager called at 10 p.m. to let us know that everything was okay now. But I'd have to say for this trip, the cast members over at Donald's Double Feature are the all-stars. Now, it was an unrenovated room, so I'm not going to bore you with a big room tour, but I wanted you to check out the roll-in shower, because it was something I'd never seen. Because there was no shower chair. There wasn't even a place for the shower chair to attach to the wall. Turns out, you have to request one from the front desk. But within 15 minutes of my request, it was in my room waiting for me. Now that was a fantastic check mark for housekeeping which was quickly erased on Sunday by the actions of another housekeeper. See, we were awakened from a dead sleep at 9 a.m. when the housekeeper working in the room next door decided that she'd prop the door rather than opening it each time. Uh, yep. Check mark erased. I mean, really, aside from the job that horticulture was doing with the grounds, it seemed to me that All-Star Movies is really the resort that Disney kind of forgot. I mean, just because you have plans to renovate a building doesn't give you an excuse to not even maintain it. In the elevator, some of the panels were just all scraped up and chipped up, and some of them were even loose at the bottom. And the floor was filthy, like it had never been mopped. And although the video doesn't do it justice, there was a noticeable bang when the elevator left the floor and when it arrived upstairs. And call me crazy, but noticeable cracks are not something I want to see on my third floor balcony. I mean, really, what could be cooler than get your picture taken with Donald and Daisy? I mean, they're icons. Until you realize that, well... Daisy's hands have seen better days, and Donald was even missing the tip of a finger. And I realize you're renovating these rooms, but there's no reason for the bottom of my curtain to look like this. 
And well, the maintenance man, Omar, was able to fix the drawer right away, so it would slide back in. He wasn't able to do that with the bathroom door. They had to call a carpenter for that. Although, he was able to fix it in just a few minutes after he got uh, you there. stuck in there now? Thank you, William. I appreciate that. My point is, a supervisor of housekeeping or maintenance should have had all these problems corrected before we ever checked in. I mean, just because the resort is in the midst of renovation doesn't mean you're not making me pay full price for it. So, how about a little respect for Daisy and Donald, huh? Now, what I was surprised about with my premium room overlooking the pool was the fact that you couldn't hear any of this noise from inside the room. Although what I could hear every morning at 7.30 a.m. is when they cranked up the leaf blowers to clear the sidewalks. But it was probably time to get up anyway. But when we did get up, I found out that Jean was sick. And not only was she sick, she was sick all day. And I had to go to Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party all by myself. It really just wasn't quite as fun. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go get some lunch. Surprisingly, the spicy chicken panini with chips and potato salad really filled me up and I was ready to go to Mickey's Not Good So evening. Scary. How are you? I am just fine, you? Thank you, kind sir. Okay, that's really kind of not fair, but nothing really happened until I went and got pepperoni pizza for dinner. The pizza was done and ready to go, and it was actually nice and warm. I wasn't really in the mood for the salad, but I got the roll anyway. Note to self, don't shake your head when you're using your pivot heads to shoot video. But seeing I was in a wheelchair, she brought the order around to help me out. And once she saw that I was getting the order to go, she went back and got me a better lid to go with the type of plate I had. Kudos go to Clonia, a majestic grill. You guys did a great job. Thank you very much. I took it back to the room to eat so I could be with Jean. Now, this is a little hard for me to say, especially when I had that 20 minute wait on the one day. But I think that the dining hall was actually one of the high spots of our stay there. They did pretty good. Uh, for instance, uh, one morning I had the chicken fried steak. It was actually really good. And it was the chicken fried steak dinner that I was trying to get that took over 20 minutes to not get. But my actual next attempt at the Roxy was the Hello. foot long chili cheese dog. I would like a foot long chili cheese dog. Yep, that's perfect. No, that's it. Bob. I can do it. Thank you much. Check it out. No long lines, no waiting. She is working on my order. And then disaster struck. All right, there's no chili or cheese on my chili cheese dog. Oh, she didn't it. She just had it as plain mud dog. Oh, no, that's... Yes, ma'am. So, let's review. I would like a foot-long chili cheese dog. Nope, wasn't my mistake. But she brought this stuff around to me, so I didn't have to go and get it. April pulls it out of the fire, and it's a win! And then I went to get ketchup for my fries. Okay, no luck on this side. Let's try the other side, shall we? Looks like I'm getting the last of the ketchup. I don't know, it just seemed to me that every time they notched a win, they'd notch another loss to knock it down. And then I noticed this on the menu. Steak and shrimp dinner. 
So I bought it. And you know what? It was actually pretty good. And we're talking about steak at a value resort. I had another meal. I was finally able to get that chicken fried steak that I'd wanted all along. And because of the portion size, I opted for the kids' breakfast. I really believe that Donald would be proud. Uh, okay, it's time to accentuate the positive, as my mother would say. The grounds, well, they're actually kind of nice. Uh, maintenance is a little off. And where else are you going to find not one, not two, not three, but four pressed coin machines? with their own change maker only at the all-star movies resort and as a moderator of a facebook group called disney with disabilities i was really excited to see this place too now i don't have kids of playground age well sort of they still play on playgrounds but i was excited to see this playground see when i headed over there i was just going over to shoot some video but then i started noticing some interesting things about this playground for instance, it had an accessibility ramp coming from the one side. And then there was this. This is a clock face with braille numbers. On the opposite side was the braille alphabet, so little kids could learn it. And believe it or not, the tower was handicap accessible too. From that rampway I showed you earlier, there's a ramp that leads out to the first floor of the tower. And it's not just leading you out there, there's things kids can do on that level. Now, for wheelchairs, you do have to use caution because there was a big drop-off right on the side of the playground, too. But you can get a wheelchair around there. Oh, yeah, and I gotta tell you about the real spot. That's their movie under the stars place. It's great. Not only is it mostly screened in with curtains that'll block out that last-minute sunlight, but it's also got seating and tables and fans. On Sunday night, I went to go see the movie Solo. You know, the movie's so good that the stores are selling the pins two for one. But at least I didn't pay to see it. Now, I also know that I showed you all the cool theming they have in the movies the last time I did a video from here when we stayed over in the Mighty Duck area. But you gotta admit, it's kind of cool to see a parade-used Herbie sitting right there where you can get up close and personal with it. But I still think my favorite themed area is the Toy Story area where you go through the huge door into Andy's room. Oh, but I did forget to tell you about the best part about having the premium room over in Fantasia. This was our walk to the pool. Yep, that's it. We're here. And you got to admit, the Fantasia pool over at the All-Star Movies Resort is really kind of awesome. But you know what's better than seeing a pool from up here is seeing the pool from in the water. And the water was great. They do have a separate kiddie pool where the little ones can play without being in danger of being run over by the teenagers. Or let's face it, the adults. Now, I did encounter one problem that I have never encountered before, and it has to do with that light stanchion right there. See, I was coming back from Mickey's Not So Scary, where I went by myself, on a bendy bus. You know, the kind with that articulated little accordion doohickey in the middle. But you notice where the door is on this bus. That ramp door is in a different place than it is on the regular bus. Which means when they pull into the spot, that little light stanchion is right where the ramp comes down. I've never actually had that happen to me before, so make sure that if you're on a bendy bus, you let the driver know that that's going to be a problem if you're in a wheelchair. Because, as it turns out, it was a driver's first time too. I guess overall it wasn't a terrible stay, I'm not going back until I can make sure I get a renovated room, and I still haven't been to Silver Screen Spirits, but I think because of that, Daisy would be proud. 
Emmy's on the prowl, looking for your likes and comments. And if you did like the video, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And when you do subscribe, don't forget to click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ah, there you are. And just in time. It is I, your host, your ghost host. <laughs> I see many new happy thoughts are materializing for tonight's not-so-scary Halloween party. It would be our treat to have you join our celebration. Yet we already have too many bodies in the No, happy Halloween, thank you. Okay, that was a line for a handful of candy Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, thank you very much! Happy Halloween! More candy! Thank you very much!